Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a pick a card all about the next good news coming your way, the next big thing coming your way. So we have group number one, group number two, group number three and group number four and please choose your group. All the timestamps will be down below and I'm also going to be putting crystals on these cards to help you decide. So let's get that started. So putting the crystals on the groups now. So the first group we have is the blue gold stone. I'm going to show you this up close because it is quite dark. So blue gold stone. We then have the angel light for group number two. We have the jade for group number three. And then we have the amethyst for group number four. So please choose your group and let's get started. So starting off with group number one. Also, if you want to have a little bit of time to take choosing your group, please pause the video for extra time. So let's get started. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's coming towards you. What's the next good thing coming towards you? So you guys chose the blue gold stones. This is a really, really pretty crystal. I always see this crystal as something dark coming out of into the light. So I do feel like for you guys, your the next good thing coming towards you is something that you've been waiting for for a very, 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 very long time. So the first card out we have is the earth hand, square palm and short fingers. I love this. So busy, reliable, down to earth, organized and methodical, drawn to stability, impatient and suspicious, easily roused. So for you guys, this could actually be the type of hand that you have. These are palm reading cards. So this could be the type of hand that you have, the shape of hand. But it's also showing me that you're getting stability coming towards you. I feel like you guys are really coming into a place of earthiness of reliability you're beginning to feel more reliable or you're just coming into people who are more reliable towards you you're feeling much more organized you're feeling much more methodical and you may feel like a bit impatient coming towards this energy you may feel like things are taking their sweet sweet time but actually it's worth the time because you can actually begin to unravel all those layers so you can manifest what it is that you need to manifest all right so we then have change, beautiful. So you guys are manifesting a beautiful amount of change. We have the a little car here. I can hear beep beep. <laughs> so I feel like for you guys, you might actually be getting a new car. Um, this could also mean that things are just being lit up for you. Um, you might also be going on nighttime drives with your person or with anyone in your family or friends. It just feels like you're beginning to feel much more stable and able to actually approach change. We also have the letters C and M on that car as well. So that could be very significant. I'm also going to pull some letters and some star signs from this little um, cauldron as well to give you some extra information on what's going on and the energies that are supporting you. Alrighty. So next card out we have is the unicorn and the maiden. Communication with unicorn, purification, undercover action. So basically there is definitely some action coming towards you. Things are actually manifesting. We do have the number nine and number 10. So for you guys, this is actually, things might not be, you might not be able to see the manifestations, but they're definitely coming in towards you. They're definitely feeling their way in. It's just because you're becoming much more um, stable, you're able to actually hold on to these new manifestations without having any sort of emotional confusion around it. You're just accepting it and not um, denying it or pushing it away or anything like that. Okie dokie. So let's have a look and see what else we have. So let's pull some crystal cards. We have hematite, ground yourself, exactly. So for some of you guys, you could not be feeling very grounded. You could be feeling a little bit confused, a little bit like, oh my God, <laughs> that is kind of the normal energy right now. We also have bloodstone and rose quartz, which is so positive. So this is basically showing me that you are manifesting love. You're manifesting love for your life, love for your people in your life, love for a partner. It could be a new partner coming in. I'm also feeling a lot of feminine energy around women and the fourth house, so your home. So you might be feeling the need to retreat more into your home, but what you are actually manifesting is love because you're detoxifying a lot of those old layers that no longer serve you. And then you're becoming much more grounded as well. And I feel like if you aren't feeling very grounded, it's really important to get into that grounded energy. And we do have the earth hand as well. So that's basically saying that make sure to not overdo it with work or not overdo it in your mind. If you're feeling very busy in your mind, get out in nature um, and this is kind of showing me here that because you are detoxifying you may be feeling a little bit vulnerable a little bit unsettled so just really really work on that energy and the rose quartz is showing me that um, you guys are really manifesting love and it's really funny because we have seven and we have seven we have 34 which three and four is seven 
four, five, six, seven, yeah, seven. <laughs> and then we have bloodstone number seven, and we also have earth hand, which is number seven. So number seven is definitely your number. I feel, and we also literally hit seven minutes on the camera. So I feel like for you guys, seven is definitely about spirituality. It's coming into more of a openly an energetic place. So you're probably gonna be feeling quite vulnerable, but it's good because you're clearing out all your old beliefs and things that don't serve you anymore, okay? When I say old beliefs, I mean like just things that no longer serve you. So I really feel like you're coming into a much calmer place where you can really manifest what it is that you wanna manifest without any kind of like blockages. Okay, next one we have is the fire ant. Um, this is kind of showing me in the reverse. It feels like you guys are feeling very busy. You, this kind of might be your mind right now. You might be feeling kind of overwhelmed. You may have been having visions about ants or dreams where you've been feeling like very overloaded and maybe people have been climbing on top of you in your dreams and feeling very kind of like overworked, very confused. So make sure to really ground yourself guys because it can be really overwhelming, especially at this time right now. So just be really, really kind to yourself. And the earth ant is also showing me, I'm sorry, fire ant, not earth ant. The fire ant is also showing me that there's definitely determination to get to where you want to go. And the thing that is definitely manifesting you is most likely love and a clear mind. I feel like you're definitely manifesting a clear, clear mind within your mental health as well. It could be physical health as well, but I feel more to do with mental health, okay? But it feels like with the fire ant, you're really kind of choosing this. You are definitely, you have more control, I feel. Um, and you're trying not to kind of be overly stimulated, but if you do feel overstimulated, just trying to ground yourself as much as possible. Um, I'm really focusing on the heart on the back of this card as well, so I definitely feel like love is very, very prominent for you guys as well. Okay, so we have be insightful and established, ground and rebalance your energy. <laughs> yep, definitely. Bring your awareness into the now rather than allowing it to occupy the past or the future. That is 100% true. I feel like that's coming along with the grounding energy, I really feel like grounding is just so damn important right now. I mean, just anyway, like grounding is so, it's just so important, I feel. And I feel like the more grounded you can be, the more you're going to manifest what it is that you're wanting to manifest, you know? And it just feels like you can actually take on all these energies without be feeling overwhelmed. So just really concentrate on your own energy, guys. It's gonna be worth it, okay? So the next card out we have is the Hierophant and we also have the Hermit. Oh, wow. These cards don't normally come out for me. So I feel like I definitely feel like the number nine is important and the number five. I mean, we have five, seven, nine and ten. So you guys are definitely clearing out all the different energies and all the chakras. And the Hierophant and the Hermit is showing me that with balance and going inward, you will find that balance as well. So don't be afraid to have some time away from people. Don't be afraid to... Um, set your boundaries and just just say like give me some space or if you need to talk to somebody talk to somebody it's kind of like making sure you have that balance there and the hierophant is all about somebody who's stable it's like kind of understanding the situation and not having any sort of emotional attachment so it feels like you're starting to understand why you've been through all of these things and I definitely feel like this is to do with spiritual awareness and um, kind of spiritual advancement I really feel like you're starting to understand things on a more spiritual level and kind of being like oh well, I know that's why that's happening is because I'm processing this type of emotion. It's not like, oh my God, everything is bad in my life. Everything's wrong. It just feels like you're starting to become much more, um, I'm hearing inhib inhibited, inhabited. It feels like you're starting to come more into your body, whereas before you kind of, you weren't able to do that. And I definitely thought with this being insightful and established, that's a very strong energy. It's kind of like assessing the situation, but not allowing it to um, kind of, take away your awareness from the from the present situation, okay? So we have patience, yeah, I feel like this is a really big thing for you guys, patience is such a big thing. We have patience, we have authority. So because you could be taking on more authority, you could be taking on more kind of um, responsibilities, you may have to be more patient with yourself because you guys are really coming into your own and it could be feeling quite overwhelming as well. So just be really, really aware of, of yourself. We have influence, so other people might be influencing you, but make sure to come into your own energy and be very, very um, kind of open to these energies and just be like, look, it's okay, I can deal with this, just do whatever makes you feel comfortable and safe. We have detachment, so you may feel the need to be detached from the situation. What I feel like is important is to, I feel like detach in a healthy way. So kind of be like, well, I know why I'm feeling like this is because I am, you know, going through a lot of stuff and not kind of hurting yourself because of that. And we have ostentation in the reverse. So ostentation, I'm pretty sure, is kind of all about wealth and 
the energy of kind of feeling really proud and like expressing your riches kind of thing. I feel like because that's in the reverse, it's kind of like you don't feel the need to actually have any of these things. You just, you feel like you just want them, you know, it's like optional. You don't, it doesn't feel like it's going to rule your life if you don't get these things. And that's like what I feel like is really good. And that's probably why we have the detachment card. Because it's basically saying, like, don't put everything in one basket. Like, basically, don't put all your your kind of attachment onto one thing because you will manifest that thing. You don't need to kind of constantly think about it or constantly feel the need to manifest it. It's like once you've put it out there, it's just let it let it go out there and trust in the universe that it's gonna come. And know that change is coming. Like this is one of the main energies. So you are manifesting change. It's just you need the patience for it, guys. And I know that's really, really hard sometimes, but it definitely is coming into that patience with change. And change within change comes patience as well because we need to be very kind of um, patient with ourselves and how we deal with these energies all right so let's get some little uh so i have letters and i have star signs in here so we're going to pick out some letters and whatever comes up first all right so we have scorpio we have v that is so weird because my name is victoria and i'm also a scorpio so i'm kind of a bit freaked out right now <laughs> um okay we have d we have C, we have Pisces. Wow, I'm getting really hot. I'm getting really, really hot. We have Leo. We have R and we also have Y. Okay, so that could be for you guys. This could be somebody coming in. This could be manifesting your person. I'm hearing like dominant, dominant male, dominant person. I really am feeling that like dominant some somebody quite dominant but like in a good way somebody who has like control someone who has like an earthly quality so i really hope you enjoyed this video guys thank you so much for watching and if you would like a private reading all my information is down below i also have a crystal store so that'll be down below as well i do custom crystal jewelry thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon much love bye hello group number two thank you so much for clicking on this video oh you take a breath Whew. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's get started with your reading. So for you guys, you chose uh, Angelite. So this crystal is all about manifesting through your angels and also connecting to your guides and being very connected to the spirit world. So if you've been calling on your angels recently, it is extra clarification. And also telling you that your angels are always with you. And this is a very calm stone. It's also really good for babies as well. So if you have a baby or any children or maybe like a puppy, really good for that because it's a very light subtle energy okay so first card out we have is uranus the thumb thick <laughs> okay so it says basically these guys are about palm reading cards so this maybe you might have a thick thumb okay it says a thick thumb suggests you take a back seat in life preferring to work behind the scenes you are orderly and disciplined and learn best by repetition you enjoy troubleshooting and fixing errors. So you guys might have this as well, but this also has different messages in it. So for you guys, you could be working with the element of Uranus. I feel like you guys are really kind of bringing in that strong energy of like pulling things away so you can really manifest what's coming in that's new. We have 93, so three and nine is nine, 10, 11, 12. Just checking, it's 12. So 12 is uh, one and two, which is three. So it's all about creativity, about communication. And you may feel like you are taking more of a back seat in your life, but actually what's coming towards you is you're needing to actually take more responsibility for things and my heart is really being triggered in this reading so I feel like for you guys you're really taking on a lot of responsibility or you're feeling like you are starting to and I feel like you're being really really brave with that so that's really really good guys and if any of this uh, refers to you that's extra clarification if not that's totally fine you don't have to have a thick thumb <laughs> to watch this reading okay so let's see what else we have official person yeah so I definitely feel like you guys are taking more of a, a leadership role in your life and I feel like this could lead you to your person as well. If you're wanting to manifest a, a new partner or somebody who you would like to kind of help you in your life, like a shaman or just a soulmate, or somebody who is some who is somebody you can really rely on. So it's just some reliable people. I feel like you're really, really manifesting that, okay? And the number 22 is all about balance, it's all about duality. It's like getting what you what you put out. So I feel like you guys have really been wanted to manifest someone who's very stable, very, very kind of like, uh, really manifested in work so they're really really good at getting what they want in a, like a very natural way they're not someone to kind of force it to kind of happen so I really feel like that's coming in for you guys 
So, okay, so we have the littlest fairy. Appreciate the beauty and value of the exquisite and the small. So I feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is somebody new coming in. So you may be very, very empathic, very, very light, very, very gentle. And I feel like you're learning to be more assertive, have more boundaries. And you're the sort of person who tries to fix things for other people. This person's gonna help you with that. And I feel like this might even be a counselor. You might be manifesting a really nice counselor or a therapist, somebody who really suits you on your level because you may have had trouble with that. Um, if not, it feels like you're becoming your own therapist and you are really learning to not take a back seat in your life anymore. You're starting to appreciate things more gently. And if, if things are taking a while to manifest, you're learning that appreciating the little things is what makes the big things come in. And also when we appreciate the little things, it's not that we don't appreciate the bigger things. It's like preparing us for that gratification as well. It's preparing us for, preparing us for that larger thing. So let's have a look at your crystal cards. So we have Apophyllite, stay positive. Yeah, you guys have been really feeling a little bit unhappy, feeling a little bit stressed, depressed. I'm hearing undressed as well. So you may be feeling a little bit vulnerable, a little bit kind of naked. Um, but be positive guys, it's gonna come in. And yeah, have a lot of compassion for yourself. Um, have a lot of compassion for how you're dealing with things, how you're coping with things. And I feel like for you guys, the more compassionate you are with yourself, the more you're going to manifest because you're able to have that self-love there and you're able to just be kind with, I'm hearing, what's that What's that quote? It's like um, being kind, I don't, this isn't the quote that I'm thinking of, but I'm hearing being kind in the eye of the storm. So it's like you're being kind to yourself while you're kind of feeling like this. <laughs> you're like, oh my God, confusing. And I feel like this is kind of the dark and the light. This is the yin and the yang. So it's kind of like having to love those darker parts of you. And Uranus is a very dark, not dark energy, it's very deep energy. Um, and Uranus is just really, really, and it's an energy that strips things away. So you can really dive deep into what it is that you wanna look into. So this is something that I feel like you guys are really, really working on, okay? So the next card out we have is the golden egg, 100%. I feel like you guys are really, really working inward. And because you're doing that, you're able to see things from a broader perspective your life is literally preparing you for what's coming towards you and you may feel like nothing is happening but actually you're now the golden egg you're ready to kind of step forth and you have more value than what you think you have and i think it's really recognizing that and i always see apophyllite as a beautiful crystal i always see it as like a really just crystal that has value you know and it might not be the most expensive crystal but the way you look at it, it just it's just a stunning crystal it's just so pretty so it's kind of seeing your own value in this situation and seeing your own value within, you know, yourself and really feeling that value towards yourself. Move that crystal over a little bit so you can see the cards. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Inner desires. Set some intentions. You are entering a phase of plenty or may have a sudden windfall. Goals are within your grasp. Exactly. So you may feel like this little guy. You may feel kind of uncomfortable and maybe a little bit sluggish, you might be feeling quite slow, quite down, quite confused. Everything is coming in for you guys and you may be feeling very sensitive as well. I feel like this guy has a lot of feelers. So you're kind of feeling into everything. So you may be very sensitive to sound and kind of uh, lighting, things like that, just because you're really getting exposed. And it's a good thing because you're starting to realize what it is that you're desiring. So next card's out, we have decision and revenge. Are they this way or this way? This way, okay. So the revenge card is basically showing me that you're learning to um, be more sensitive and in the face of decisions. So it may be like you're focusing more on your own decisions and not letting people make decisions for you. And with this revenge card, I feel like we need to get some more cards for that because I feel like we, uh, I'm a little bit confused on that one. Okay, so the 10 of swords, we have the nine of pentacles and we have the knight of cups. So, Revenge, what's this about? I can you tell me what this is about? I feel like you may be jealous of people or you may have been jealous of people in the past. There may be some sort of jealousy going on. It may be from other people, it might not be you. Okay, moved you back a bit guys so you can see the cards a bit better. So with these cards, I feel like it's, it's making sure you're not having anger for the people who maybe have wronged you or made you feel really uncomfortable. I feel like it might be having less of a attachment to a father figure 
or somebody who kind of overruled you and having more compassion for them as well as yourself and not revenging or having judgment within yourself as well. So you may be hurting quite a bit and therefore revenge might be coming up as an emotion, but just really acknowledging that emotion and acknowledging it as something that is part of you and it's nothing to be scared of or to hate. So we have the Ten of Swords, Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So this is you moving away from things that no longer serve you. You're getting abundance, lots of it, lots of money, um, abundance within work, feeling much more stable, which I feel like is the Uranus energy as well. And then you have the Knight of Cups. So you guys could feel like you um, could have somebody around you who is very emotionally connected to you. They may be a young love. You might be a, in your teens. Um, it could be as well that you're manifesting somebody who is just on your wavelength. And I feel like it's a very new energy. So somebody you've never met before, you could get a message from them as well. I'm really looking at that little letter there. It's got a love heart on it. And I feel that this is, you might be connecting to horses as well. There's a horse in the back of that card um, and roses, I feel. Um, I'm really connected to all the props in this. There's like a hat, there's like a little soundbar, there's like fruit on a picnic. So you might be having a picnic with this person. Um, I'm hearing life's a picnic. So you might be starting to feel more like that. But some of you guys, you might be feeling like this and the 10 of swords, like why is nothing happening? And it's because it's just the right, it's just not the right timing yet. When it's the right timing, this will start manifesting. So you just need to move over the threshold. So you might be feeling like you're in this section here where you're like, oh, like why is nothing happening? But it is coming in for you guys, okay? So let's get you some letters and let's see what star signs wanna come out. So we have generous Leo. So we have Leo. Somebody is gonna be quite generous towards you. We have Z, H, oops. We have L as well. Let's see some more. We have S and D, um, and we also have A. Let's get some letters and see what else we have. All right, so we have Taurus and we also have Gemini as well. So these are the people you could be manifesting. This could be the energy that you're kind of uh, connecting to. I definitely feel like you're definitely connecting with somebody who is more earthy and more stable. And I feel like this will help you to grow within yourself and not feel so vulnerable and confused, okay? So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like to um, check out my private reading rates, all the information's down below, I do, I do private readings. And if you wanna check out any of my um, products on my crystal shop, please, please do. The link is down below. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's get started and see what is coming towards you. So we have the beautiful jade crystal. So I feel like for you guys, you're really manifesting love. Oops, I feel like you're manifesting love. I feel like you're manifesting just equal boundaries and mutual relationships and mutual communication. You're really beginning to get balance within all of your relationships, uh, whether it be family or friends, whether it be, yeah, just any other person in your life, you're getting much more comfortable with that situation and you're able to bring in those boundaries. I feel like I'm connecting to Aries in this reading as well. Okay, so we have Uranus, the thumb, flexible. So it says, this is about palm reading, guys. These are gonna be a bit of a weird message, but this might relate to you. It says, when the top of the thumb bends backwards freely, this indicates you rule with your heart. You listen to what your peers say and are overly concerned about what others think of you. So for you guys, you're really manifesting a lot of love. I feel like the fact that it says, uh, this indicates you rule with your heart. This is definitely that kind of group. I feel like you're manifesting love and you're manifesting what you give out comes back to you. Okay, we have distant horizons. So I definitely feel like you guys are manifesting something that's very stable and it might be somebody that's something that's overseas. It might be somebody that's overseas. This is number nine. So I feel like there's definitely something that you're manifesting that, that is probably taking longer than what, what you want it to but it doesn't mean it's not gonna happen, okay? I definitely feel like you're wanting to travel. I think you're wanting to possibly get a car, uh, wanting to connect to somebody who's abroad. Um, it could be actually meeting somebody who's abroad as well. So that could be coming in really, really strongly. And we also have the letters C and M on there as well. So that could be uh, quite a strong message for you guys to see what else wants to come through. Okay, so we have Snail's pace, slow down, grounding, listen for the heartbeat of the earth, subtle energies. So I feel like this is a really strong energy. Um, I feel like for you guys, it's definitely slowing down. And we have golden gift, magical help is on its way. So you may feel like you have no help, no assistance, no kind of help really out of all, but there's definitely an energy of just being inward 
and really being okay with being by yourself. Okay, so we have the moth. Yeah, I feel like you guys are really going inward and Uranus is a very deep planet and Uranus strips away what you no longer need. So I feel like for you guys, it's coming into a strong energy of realizing what it is that you need and also being drawn to the light. So you, I feel like you guys are being drawn more spiritually on a higher level. So you guys are really ascending. I feel like the thing that you are manifesting is just ultimate spiritual freedom i feel like you're in, in many different ways it could feel like you're it could be you're manifesting a relationship that's very spiritually free and you're spiritually free to be able to do what who you be who you are and do what you want um manifesting a job where you're able to be who you are manifesting a friendship where you're able to be who you are it's basically like you're manifesting that one big thing that you've wanted that helps you to be free in who you are and i don't feel like it is mainly career related it feels more to do with something that's very close to your heart so if it is career, it will be something that you're doing within your career that's close to your heart. So I don't think it's the money side. I feel like it's more of the passion that you have for that thing is you'll possibly rediscovery or discovering that passion. All right, so next card out, we have Epidote, go deeper. Yeah, I feel like you guys are going really deep. This, this group is very, very deep. And then we also have Laramar, Water, Ocean, Throat Chakra. So you're learning how to communicate um, freely and to know that your voice is worth being heard and to really let people understand you and, and be very patient with your trauma that you're going through. I feel like you guys are going through some really deep trauma right now and you may feel like things are really far away from you, but actually they're coming closer the more you're going inward and seeing what this darkness is. And moths are beautiful creatures, you know. They only come out at night time, which is so precious. It's kind of like, I feel like a lot of your creativity will come around night time. And you could be night owls as well. You could like staying up quite late and you could be very connected to the moon and you may be very affected by the moon so just be really really aware, aware of that you could have a very strong uranus placement um or you could have your moon around uranus i feel you could have like a very strong uranus moon energy or you could have like an op opposition to the, the uranus and the moon where you kind of have quite you kind of have a little bit of confusion around your feelings um and around your emotions so just be aware of that you can look at these things in your birth chart as well so we have publicity, which is beautiful. I love that. And we have, ooh, status. You guys are definitely getting recognition. I love this. So we have, this is so funny. We have two and five, and this is number 22. So there's definitely a shift that you're having around your abundance, around, I feel like I'm hearing self-care and I'm also hearing publicity. So the more you take care of yourself, the more you're able to be seen. I feel like you guys are definitely being seen more. And this is also towards like following it on, on social media. It could mean that you're just understanding what it is that you want out of life. And therefore it could be status. It could be publicity as well. It just feels like you'll be, you're feeling like a more important person than what you felt. And you're starting to really recognize that within yourself and not to kind of bash that or, you know, make yourself small out of it. You're really recognizing that. And, and this is what you're deciding. This is what you're going to have. All right. So we have the devil and we have the star beautiful right so i definitely feel like what you're manifesting is coming out of the darkness when you come out of the darkness you're going to realize what you're what you're capable of and your potential i feel like this devil hair is like connected to the crystal it definitely feels that you're going through a really deep time right now but the universe is guiding you and trust the universe that it is because the star is about divine timing so if you don't have the publicity yet just trust that it will come in the right timing and it might not even be the right time for you to do that. It might not be the right time in your life. You might be going through something very deep. You might be going through something that isn't isn't preparing you yet for that space. So, because we need a lot of space in our life to be there, to handle this status because being famous or having a high status involves having quite a strong mentality as well. So you may feel like you're not really ready for that yet or you may feel like you are, but it is definitely coming in for you guys. Get ready for it, okay? So we also have a drift in shallow water. Take a few deep breaths and reconnect to your inner peace. Notice the small things and appreciate them. I love this. I love turtles. I just I connect to them so strongly. And we also have single-mindedness. Choose your own path and what is best suited for you. I feel like that's pretty preaching to the choir with this group. I feel like you guys are really understanding what your own power is. And that comes from understanding what it is that you want out of life. And you may not even know what it is. So just take some deep breaths and just kind of relax and know that even noticing the small things out of life will bring you the big things it's just some people kind of think that noticing the small things doesn't really get you anywhere but actually it, it, it sets you up to 
kind of understanding what is it that's coming towards you and it kind of distracts you as well from what you don't have because we want to appreciate what we do have right now and I feel like it's somebody I'm just picking up on somebody who has very intense eyes so you might be manifesting somebody in terms of a partnership or a friendship and they have just really deep eyes I feel like it could be a water sign like really strongly or like a fixed sign but I just have really deep eyes okay so we might pick up on that with the uh, charms as well so let's see what's coming through all right so we have oh, we have s we have b we have t oops we have h and we have d okay let's get some charms okay oh we have pisces i love that let's see what other ones we have we have scorpio that is so funny it'd be funny if we got cancer Oh, no, we've got Taurus. I love that. So another fixed sign. Let's get one more. Virgo. Beautiful. Okay, so those are your charms, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to purchase a private reading, all the information is down below. I also have my uh, online shop down below as well if you want to check that out. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's have a look and see what you are manifesting. So... We have the beautiful amethyst so this is a very calm crystal i feel like you guys are i'm hearing the word soothing i'm hearing soothing your way to success so i feel like self-care is really important for you right now and i feel like i'm hearing clearing your head and clearing your eyes so you may uh, be getting glasses you may be getting contacts you may be uh i'm hearing washing your face more than usual i don't know it feels like you're just clearing something maybe it feels like more physically though so it feels like you could be exercising more you could be having a sound bath something like that i feel like is very important for you. you could also have reiki or some sort of therapy all right so let's see what's manifesting you guys we have uranus the thumb so a lot of you guys that have uranus which is so crazy so we have stiff and thick <laughs> so this is the palm reading cards so this is going to be about uh, what you have in your uh, palm so this might not resonate with you guys but if it does that's great a thick and stiff thumb with no flexibility suggests someone who prefers structure. You are cautious, conservative and try to balance work and pleasure as you are a workaholic. So I feel like you guys, I don't feel like you're a workaholic, but I feel like you might connect more with work and stability and like constant structure. It could mean that also you're getting into a passion is really going to drive you forward and drive this manifestation forward. Beautiful, exactly. Well, we did say workaholic, so I feel like for you guys, I don't think it's work much so much the actual word of workaholic, it's actually money coming in. I feel like that's what you're manifesting for you guys. You're manifesting wealth, you're manifesting ease, and it, I feel, I'm just hearing cleansing, you're just cleansing. You might actually have hardly any money in your bank account. That is the cleanse. Like, I feel like that could be part of the cleanse, and therefore you're manifesting like more wealth, so you can actually go from like zero to a hundred pounds like really quickly or a thousand pounds or even more than that okay adventures discovery travel des meeting destiny barnabas and the prince so we have 11 twice i love that so much we have 11 and we have 11 so we could see 11 11 you could be seeing the number seven we also have nine and four which is well nine and four and we also do have this is the group number four so i feel like you guys are definitely coming into stability around your work around career and it could also be kind of searching for your purpose. And part of your purpose could be, um, you could be very adventurous. You could be somebody who loves adventure, loves kind of expansion. I'm, I'm feeling um, expansion around your heart area. So I feel like you're expanding more and becoming more easy to kind of do things. It feels like you're not so rigid anymore. And not saying you are rigid, but it feels like where you've been through so much stuff, you could have held walls up. And now those walls are starting to come down. You're able to just do things on the whim and without overthinking it, especially if you're a water sign. I feel like you guys overthink quite a lot. I mean, I'm a water sign, so preach. <laughs> There's something else I wanted to say. Meeting destiny. So you guys are definitely meeting your like wealth at a certain specific time. So you may not have meant to be wealthy at this time because you may not have held on to that money. You know, maybe in a previous life, you could have been very rich and this time it's kind of teaching you to work with your money and work more not to say that you're not going to have any money but i feel like it's it's definitely a certain point where you meet that type of wealth in, in a particular time in your life and i feel like it could be something that just suddenly shifts and seeing a clock 
and I'm seeing you've only gone halfway around the clock and now that now you've reached halfway it's time to do the other halfway which is actually starting the manifestation and completing something okay we have the dragon this reverse upright dragon beautiful so I feel like for this card it's really looking at I feel like this is actually meeting destiny here so I actually feel like you've been going through a very deep intense part of your life and you've been looking at the deeper parts of your life and really um, I'm hearing staring at the face of destiny so you could be really looking deep into yourself and finding parts of you that you didn't even know you really had and I feel like there's definitely a connection to do with amphibious reptiles is that the right word I don't know if I could just yeah amphibious reptiles I'm pretty sure that's the right word we've got a frog here and we also have a dragon so there's definitely that kind of right reptilian energy and reptiles I mean frogs definitely like to have like moisture and cold places so I feel that for you guys you could have been in quite a cold place or you may have not even been able to afford heating that sort of thing so I feel like for you guys you are definitely coming straight around like having a 360 where you're manifesting things and really being determined with what you want as well which is perfect keep going guys you're going to get there all right let's get your crystal cards okay children conzite which is lovely so being more in your childlike energy is going to manifest this as well and we also have black kyanite set strong boundaries so it might need you may need to set strong boundaries with your children if you have any or set strong boundaries with your child energy so you may with your inner child you may be feeling quite scared and kind of confused about why this hasn't happened or like why is everything so still and i definitely feel like it's having a talk with your inner child and just saying look it's going to be fine we are going to manifest it and I feel like setting strong boundaries with people who may be kind of, I'm hearing, doing you over and maybe feeling like if there's anyone who is trying to control you, it's really setting your boundaries and saying no when you mean no and yes when you mean yes. And this is going to help you manifest wealth because it's all about self-love and the universe will um, attract, give you what you attract out as well. Okay, so we have discovery. Yes, yeah, so that's beautiful. So there's definitely something about travel coming in for you guys. That's really, really important. Okay, so we have number two, diving to new depths. Wow, that's so beautiful. There is a deeper meaning to what is happening. You might be looking at this from the surface and mi missing what is really going on. Take a moment to pause and breathe. Allow yourself to dive deeper into what it is you are feeling about the current situation. Wow, that's so beautiful. And then we also have another whale. In the light of the moon, a full moon can shine on what you have been resisting. This can be anything from fears to your soul's beauty wow that is like a really big message i feel like two and three they go really nicely together and you can see how this whale is kind of going in the water and this one's kind of jumping out so i feel like the more you come away from this energy and don't go too deep into it and really either blame yourself or blame the universe just really look into it and see if there's anything that you're kind of missing around your emotions and your energy and if there's and you might just be dealing with a lot of emotional stuff guys it might just be you need to go inwards before you can manifest the outward energy so we have the two of pentacles we have the knight of wands i feel like finding your purpose as well and finding your passion or just focusing on what you're passionate about because then that's really going to draw in that happy energy and it's not going to put pressure on yourself as well yeah i definitely feel like you have some strong forward movement i feel like some of you guys you could be more in the two of pentacles we are kind of waiting for that balance to come in and waiting for that manifestation but you will get it and i think it's about happiness as well and actually manifesting happiness and you're definitely going to go forward and the chariot is about forward movement as well and it's the light and the dark with the black and the white horse so i'm going to get you another card oh that was quick we have number seven message do we have number seven before i swear i saw number seven if we didn't then it's here um this is about spirituality as well some sort of spiritual message it could be an omen but it could also be a message from somebody about work or somebody who's going to help you in money Get you another card okay two cards all right so underneath we have <laughs> unexpected income beautiful so there's so much money around you guys love it all right you have so many cards okay we have courtship so you could be courting with somebody coming in if you don't have anyone there's somebody coming in false person this is who you need to set your boundaries with you might not realize it until a little bit later on but that's totally fine and then we also have journey you guys are really going on a journey where are you going guys <laughs> where are you going i'm jealous um yeah so i feel like for you guys you are definitely manifesting your wealth and when you manifest wealth you're able to actually use that and go on a journey so it could be that you're 
you're basically going through a very deep energy and you may have a blockage because you are dealing with somebody who's very toxic. Have some boundaries around this person and maybe figure out why you feel the need to hold on to this person as well. And it may be something that you might not have realised and just be very patient with yourself, you know. And I love the meeting destiny because I really feel like, as I say, it's coming to a point where you're then discovering, okay, that's, that's the time when it's ready to come in. I keep seeing the number five, like, really strongly in my mind. Okay, so... Ooh. Okay, so we have Capricorn, money, 100%, I feel that. We have intu in Intuitive, Pisces. We have Sagittarius. We then have M, Y, and F. I'm hearing the word yes. I'm hearing the word yellow as well. X. P, let's get a couple more. We have E and V. I want to get, I feel like somebody's name could be Evie as well. And we also have Taurus. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you'd like a private reading, all the information is down below. If you would like to check out my crystal shop, that's also down below as well. Thank you so, so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.